guys. It's awesome with Lunker Life. I can't catch a fish right now. It's middle of February. We're getting closer to springtime, so it should be getting better any week now. But still, I'm struggling. Haven't been in a couple weeks also, I guess I could say. So it could be a little bit better now, but I'm going to start going real soon. But uh, today, I'm doing a review. Got a new rod during the holiday season. It was a Christmas gift to me. This is a seven foot cashing rod. Now I know a lot of you've probably heard of cashing. It's not as big of a brand name as Abu Garcia or Daiwa. You know, stuff like that, but um, I'm a big fan of these rods. I've used a few of my uncles and buddies cashing rods before. I really like them. I just never took the time to buy one. Um, they're around $200 per rod, whether it's casting or spinning gear. Um, but I will say this. I've casted it a couple times. I have taken it out to the lake and I've just fished the bank a few times, you know, throwing a jerk bait, crank bait, whatever I feel like throwing on it. And I haven't had any luck, but it's very sensitive. I used to use a skeet reese rod. That wasn't an awful rod. I can't say I'm not particularly a fan of it. I got buddies who like skeet reese gear a lot better than I do, but it's not my cup of tea. This right here is not going to be as quite as sensitive as a G Loomis rod. My uncle lets me use one of his. He's paid several hundred bucks for it, probably worth double what this rod's worth. But I will say that thing can fill any nick you hit on the bottom. I mean, that is a top of the line rod, not knocking casting. I'm just saying if you got four or five hundred bucks to spend on a rod, go for it. I spend roughly one to two hundred on every rod, and they, ser they all service me very well. This is probably the best high quality rod I've got now. I've got it paired up with a Fluger President Supreme Reel. Um, I got this a while back, not really doing a review on Fluger currently, but um, I got it a couple years ago. It's a 7 to 1 gear ratio, a little bit faster than I would like to throw crankbaits, but it works pretty good for jerkbaits. It's got the job done. Got some uh, 12 pound trilene fluorocarbon. I actually just spooled this thing up. Caught several fish on it. Hasn't given me any issues. It's a good budget reel for 70 to 80 bucks. It's definitely not as high end as, you know, my Abu Garcia's I do have. I still have an Abu Garcia Revo 3 STX 3rd Gen that I just would use every day of the week. But this thing services me very well. But that's enough on the reel. We might do a more in depth review on it. In the future. Never really had a rod with micro guides. Most of mine have the normal size guides. One time I did use this, I noticed a lot of improvement in the accuracy of my cast. It casts a lot smoother than my other rods do, which is a bonus. But like I said, I've made do with those for so long in the past that this is just like a Cadillac to me right now. <laughs> I do like it. I really look forward to using this a lot more here in the upcoming weather. It's kind of getting really close to jerkbait weather right now. It very well actually could be here. Water temperature is um, about mid 40s so I could probably start throwing the sun with the lake and maybe eventually catch something but until March regu regularly catching fish probably isn't going to become common for me. So one more month. I've made it December and January and half of February. I can make it one more month but I cannot wait to catch some fish on this. I cannot wait to let you guys know what I think of this rod. Like I said there's a guy down the road who runs a local tackle shop and he is a huge fan of these and he carries about every style of cash and rod imaginable and a very nice guy i think it's going to be a good investment which like i said it was a gift for me so i didn't spend anything on it but i definitely would have bought one of these at some point in the future because i've been dying to have one of my own and as you can see i just carelessly chucked it in the floor it comes with a nice rod sleeve which i don't have any rod sleeves from any of my other rods but it looks good on it it matches the grip and everything. Look forward to throwing this thing. I'll let you guys know how it goes. But for now, this is just a quick little review. I look forward to giving a secondary review after I put it to the test more and more later on this year. You guys have a good one.